Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using this. I, you can get this at your local Walmart. So I think it's, oh yeah, the price is right here. It's just $5. And I've been seeing that you can like go ahead and do some cute and scary stuff with these. So I'm going to do like both because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to try doing like a cute one, which is like a glamorous look. And then I'm going to go ahead and do like a scary one and just try to like make it into a short video and see how that works out. I don't know if I'm going to use these two which is just paint, like black and white, but I'm for sure gonna use a zipper. For sure gonna use a spirit gum because it's what's gonna hold the, the glue <laughs> and then the blood for like the scary look or the glamorous look. Um, I already primed my face. I'm gonna do like a very cute like eye look and then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the glitter. But I'm gonna start off doing the glitter first. All right, let's get started. Once I found the shape of it, I just went ahead and dot it so I could go ahead and use the spirit gum and I'm going to go ahead and like start putting the spirit gum like all over where I dot it and then I'm going to put it on the zipper. That was actually harder than what I thought it was going to be because the glue took like about a minute and a half to like actually start sticking so for like the longest time I was just kind of like holding it until it actually dried up. So it's still kind of like loose. But I can tell that like it's still drying up. So uh, you just have you just have to be very patient for this. But it's not that hard. You just have to be patient, you know. And then I guess I didn't get it like all the way up here, so I just put like black eyeliner and <laughs> I just put it up here. But like I'm pretty sure once I get everything done, you're not gonna be able to tell. What I'm gonna use is the NYX glitter primer. And remember, a little goes a long way with this, so it's totally worth it. And I'm going to be using this glitter for today. This is a glitter I got from the app Wish. So hopefully this whole thing is enough for my face or part of my face. And I'm going to just be using this like synthetic flat brush. Oh, I got my baby hair. Okay, it's out. <laughs> Because this is my first time without even practicing doing this, I recommend doing your makeup first, or at least the side you are. Like, do the like the dotted lines, and then do your makeup, and then put the zipper, and then do the glitter. Because look, I did the dotted line, and it kind of like moved over, and it doesn't want to conceal. <laughs> so if you're like the type of person who wants to be like perfectionist, and like it's gonna bug you, good luck because. For me, I really don't care, but I'm just giving you guys like a heads up or be careful when you're doing like your dotted line. For today's lashes, I'm gonna be using the Coco Lashes from Amore. I got my lashes on now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put blush, lipstick, and highlighter. Okay, and there you go. So I put my hair down so I could go ahead and cover like, you know, where like my skin is showing right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like tuck it right there. And then voila. I honestly love this look. Oh my gosh, it's like super pretty. Like you look fabulous, you look gorgeous and full of glitter, which who doesn't love glitter, you know? I honestly forgot to put mascara under my lashes. Oh well. <laughs> So we're gonna get ready for the scary one.
All right, so who's ready for a scary look? Because you know what? I am. Let's get the fun started. So I already primed my face, and then I did the outline of how I'm going to do it. And I did my brows. That's all you missed so far. So this time, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do my makeup first because I felt like the zipper was in my way when I was trying to get into, like, the, like, when I was trying to get into, like, the details right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the zipper on, and then we're going to make, like, the little fake burn. I'm going to do my makeup off camera because it's going to be the same thing. You could do like a very like basic look or if you want, you just want to like glam it up, go for it. I just did like the makeup part and now I'm going to start putting the zipper. So you can see like all the freaking glitter. Oh my gosh. Okay, like you can tell like all this glitter right here. Like taking off the makeup on the first look. Oh my gosh, it was like so much. but. You know what, I didn't even want to take it off. Like I wanted to like wear it for the whole night. So here's the spirit gum, which is like the glue to put it on your skin. And honestly, when I took it off the first time, I was like slowly peeling it and it didn't hurt at all. As you can tell right here, like there's no damage. So just letting you guys know that that's a plus. I need to put a headband before I glue all my hair. In the directions, it's said to like go ahead and put it on your skin and then put it on the zipper then put it together. So I'm just going by what the direction says. Take two. I messed up again. <laughs> so like, it's so, when you're holding it, I had to go to like the bigger mirror because I really needed to see where I was like placing it. But when you're holding it, you're gonna think that it's, it's kind of like the lashes. You know when you apply lashes and you wanna wait until it actually gets tacky? like don't apply it right away wait till it starts getting tacky and then like 30 seconds to a minute later then start putting it and then hold it in place for about a minute or two i don't know how long i hold it i felt like i was holding it for a really long time but every time i kept letting go it kept like popping up and then i had to place it again so i don't know if you can tell like right here it's like where my dot was at like i was dotting it and it kind of just like moved so I think I'm just gonna put like a little bit of blood or something. I'm gonna figure something out though. I'm gonna start off with black eyeliner. I'm gonna use a flat brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it all over my eyelid. I put black eyeliner on both of my bottom waterline. This is gonna get a little crazy. This is gonna be really, really crazy. So I'm gonna, because I'm gonna be using latex, I don't want it to pull my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a big gulp of Vaseline over my eyebrows. So it doesn't pull any of my hairs. And I hope that it works because I Googled like what to do to prevent it and they said Vaseline. So now I have Vaseline on my eyebrow. As you can tell, I like, I put it like a little bit more above like where my baby hairs are at on my, my baby hair eyebrows. <laughs> But um, this is the latex I am talking about. I got it for $10 or with tax. I got it at my local Walmart and I'm going to go ahead and use this. You're going to need to be very extremely careful because you're doing it around the eye. It can get a little bit messy. So what I use as a tool because I don't really have like a tool to use. I just use like one of my cheapest brush which is an elf brush. But I use just the ending of the stick. I'm gonna start off by just adding some drips right here. And you see how it's like falling down? So just go little by little. The way we can make it look more burned, we're gonna mix it with coffee. And the only coffee I honestly have is the last coffee I just drank. I just drank my coffee and this is like the remaining coffee grounds I have. You need to make sure it's Starbucks because if not, it's not gonna work. I'm just kidding. Um, I have like the Great Valley one because I'm cheap. So any coffee works, but you're gonna make like the texture of it look more like a burn effect. So it's gonna look more real. We're gonna mix it with latex. For anything I was thinking instead, I'm gonna go ahead. I got this, I don't have like the cover for it, but I got it at Walmart also. I think it was like $5 and it's just like, it says like a wound effect color. So like these are basically just makeup. And then it's pretty cool because like you have it all stacked together and you untwist it for the color. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this like purple, like this purple maroon color. And then I'm going to get this like bright red color. I'm 
Then I'm gonna get some of this black. I'm just gonna go ahead and like start blending it up to like my hairline. Honestly, this is all like a learning experience for me, so you guys are learning with me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put like the coffee in here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of latex in here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it. Uh, I'm gonna use toilet paper also. Very carefully. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up here. Very little, as you can tell, like super lightly, so it doesn't start dripping down. And then I'm gonna put it like right above my crease line right here. Please, you guys, don't don't blame it on me if you guys get it in your eye. <laughs> Do not. Just be super careful. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this right here. So then I don't get latex on my eyebrow. <laughs> That's the whole purpose why I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start covering it a little bit with latex. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry and then start layering it again, let it dry, layer it again until it starts getting into like a very gushy like burn effect. Look at that. <laughs> it's drying. I kind of layered it like about five times I think. I'm not even sure. So layers on top of layers on top of layers and the inside, I can feel that it's still wet, but the outside, I'm pretty sure it's still drying up. But once I feel like it's like dry, but not like actually dry, like it's still wet inside, I'm gonna start picking it up so I can make like this, like the skin wrinkled up. Watch. So it's kind of drying up, but it's still wet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Oh my God, there's like hairs all over. I, I got latex. <laughs> Gross. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start like lifting it up. Now I'm gonna go back to painting. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the blood that it came with. Honestly, I don't think the effect that I was trying to use for the coffee ground didn't work. I feel like if I didn't paint it, maybe, or maybe more layers. I don't know. I don't think you need the coffee ground. All gone. And then one more step. Almost done. Trust me. Almost done. But I got some contacts. Yes. I'm so excited. Like, you have no idea. Me smiling so much, I kind of like started getting this peeled off because it's, I'm so excited. So I'm trying not to smile anymore. But you know, I'm super freaking uh, I don't want to take this off. I really don't want to take this off. <laughs> I love this look. Make sure you don't get the blood that's like dripping blood, like, cause it's just gonna be dripping and falling. This is called the blood scab. Two complete different looks using this zipper for five dollars on top of it deciding what you're gonna do the glam or the scary look you're gonna go ahead and spend a little bit more but it's gonna be so worth it like the blood already comes with the zipper so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you like it if you thought it was good comment down below if you're gonna do this for halloween let me know if you guys do mention me on instagram if you post it or facebook anywhere i love to see if you guys like tried it out. I did get these contacts at a local store, so go ahead and look online or at your local stores if they're selling some. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe down below. I'm gonna be doing more Halloween tutorials this whole month. I'm super excited, super committed. Thanks for watching.